Hello and welcome to Chartwell Rages. My name is Dave. Um, I'm just going to do a short update. It's been a bit of a sort of while since I've done an update, and basically um, I had other commitments through the summer months and what have you, as everyone does. And um, sort of over the last sort of month, month and a half, I sort of got back into it, and I've done uh, quite a few bits and pieces, and. It's coming along, let's say that, and um, I've sort of been collecting a few Lima locomotives, it's sort of mainly Class 47s and uh, a couple of Class 87s. I sort of converted these um, into DCC running um, by using the uh, CD motor that's, that's um, on eBay uh, by Strathpeffer Junction. I mean these motors are quite good, they're a bit of a they are a game changer, but I think the problem I'm having, I don't know if anyone else is having this sort of problem with their conversions, and that is the wheels, because they're brass, they're not very conductive and they stall and they sputter and basically they're sort of not very good at running on DCC. Um I've been sort of looking more into it and uh, maybe I should go down the avenue of um, trying to get some ultra scale wheel sets for these uh, locomotives. I might try just doing one to see if that makes it any better but if not these are probably going to end up on eBay being sold. So anyway without further ado um, I would like to sort of uh, mention that I have been watching a lot of um, your channels out there and I've been sort of giving the thumbs up as you do and that and to be honest there's some remarkable layouts out there and uh, I just enjoy watching like the model layouts that you guys sort of produce and build and that you know it gives me inspiration and that as well as um, sort of like keeping up the interest in the hobby which like to me is one of the best hobbies you could wish for so uh basically i'm going to sort of turn you around and just show you the actual work i've actually been doing and explain what i've been doing so bear with me right i've replaced the two sort of um yard lights here because they they sort of basically one of the lamps had packed up so i've replaced them and put them back i've got a dummy shunt signal uh just between the two running lines there Unfortunately, the uh, white LED is sort of uh, packed up, so I'm going to probably just sort of lift this out and replace the LED, which isn't too hard to do. Um, going down towards the uh, station area, I've, I've sort of basically got rid of like the uh, grass effect, and I'm going to turn it into like a little sort of um, suburban station, basically. I've still got a lot to do here, and uh, obviously add people and more sort of um, furniture around the platform and what have you so it's coming along um i've put a little bit of temporary back scene there as you can see which is for end guys just to sort of for video purposes i suppose and that and uh, i haven't decided what i'm going to do on that side of the uh, sort of main road to be honest um, I haven't really done much at uh, Asda's apart from put a couple more cars in there so there's still detail to go in there obviously I've got to put some sort of interior in the actual uh, Asda's itself um, coming around to this part I've basically um, sort of turned this bit into a bit of a urban area I've added sort of like detail with uh, sort of people that I um, purchased off I think it's Rail Model Scenes and they're very very reasonable priced and they're all right you have to paint them up but I think they look quite good to be honest and uh, if I can just zoom in just to sort of show you give you an idea well, the old uh, Akita is sort of watching the old VW um, I've put litter in the bins there's a bit of litter on the street uh there's a couple of guys further up talking the street lights are all wired in and sort of light up um pete's cat is still on the roof of the mini 
Um, basically, this is the car park, if it zooms in. Still a lot to be detailed in there, which isn't going to be a hard thing to do, and I quite enjoy doing that. I've got a couple of speed ramps and um, one of them free kits that you get with railway model that I've built up with the old coal merchants and that. I sort of changed the roof on it, weathered it up. Got a skip there, recycling skips a little bin. Um, a couple of speed ramps, basically they were made out of a couple of um, sprues from an old kit. So they look quite reasonable in there. Um, if I swing you around, this is going to be my continental side. And basically I've done, it's a bit hard to sort of manoeuvre in here because I've got so much junk on the floor. Basically, it's like my mini version of a channel tunnel, you could say. I've got some catenary that's already up, and that. it's sort of basically something I got off eBay, and uh, I think it don't look too bad, to be honest, for a continental scene. Obviously, the uh, rock face, what I've done with that, I've got the, um, the flower ranging green uh, blocks from Hobbycraft, so basically I fitted them round the back and obviously uh, plaster bandage over the top. And then for the rock face, believe it or not, what I've done, I used um, the old uh, grey clay that you get in Hobbycraft. And once it's set, I gave it a few washes of different colours, different greys and greens and blacks and whatever. And I think it looks quite good to be honest. The house at the top, that's uh, basically I've still got a lot to do over here um i'm gonna have a bit of a garden with it i'm waiting for some stuff to be delivered to finish that off and obviously above the tunnel i've got to um add more uh, fir trees and what have you because it's just sort of like sort of basically sort of little uh sort of image of somewhere well basically a fictitious place out in uh west uh south south of germany and on the austrian boulder i'm sort of trying to sort of replicate because i've got quite a few continental locomotives and uh, wagons and coaches etc if i spin you around like it is basically it's just a blank canvas down this end i've still got loads to do i've got to sort of take get some more containery wire and carry it on down here Obviously, I'm going to extend the platform sort of down towards where that class 47 sort of is, just to sort of give it a bit of length and whatever. And <laughs> to be honest, I haven't really done much over here. I've just got a station sort of in there. It's wired up for lighting and amongst other things and whatever. So, and over this end, you'll go into a tunnel portal, probably a small town scene, not a rural scene or whatever so sort of, i haven't sort of thought much about this end to be honest and go around the lifting edge and we're back into good old blighty as they say so like i say not a lot's really been done on this part of the layout i've still got to wire in the signals and whatever and add bits of detail here and there like but this will sort of take its time and it'll come along when when i get the uh time to do it as for under the bolts i'm quite into tidy wiring so i just don't know if you can see that i just try to dress it all so it's all tidy and basically um not a sort of mess and whatever so i know where everything is to be honest but apart from that i hope everyone's keeping well and i know I've babbled on for about 10 minutes and that i will put a video on with a short running session after this video so i wish you all the best everyone uh happy modeling above all keep yourself safe and well and in this present climate we're in especially with covid and what's going on around the world and i look forward to uh doing another video very soon take care bye bye